Uh, if you are uh, building yourself, you know, buying the lumber, uh, shop your lumber price if you're using uh, cedar because lumber prices vary considerably from one uh, retail outlet to another uh, depending on grade. So sometimes you'll see a, a quite a difference in price. And if you ask, you'll find out it's a different grade. And I can't tell you all the different uh, grades there are, but some lumber companies will, will have one grade because the lumber yard down the street has a different grade. So that's the reason to shop uh, pricing. Most of uh, your lumber, I would recommend buying it as a dry, uh, kiln dried lumber. Uh, you're gonna have less distortion, twisting, bending of the lumber as it dries out. Particularly if, uh, it t if the project takes a long time, uh, your parts will be sitting for a while. If they're green, uh, they tend, when they dry out, they tend to twist. The other thing to look in your lumber, look at the end of the boards and try to select lumber that does not have the heart of the tree. A lot of lumber is made out of small trees and it has the heart of the tree. And that part, uh, cut from that part of the tree is almost guaranteed to twist. So try to get the outside cuts outside the center of the tree. Uh, don't need to have clear lumber to build a greenhouse unless you're uh, you know, just doing a first class pretty structure. Uh, a lot of people like the looks of the, the knotty cedar in the, or the knots in the wood. It does give uh, character to the structure. So that's, um, that's an option. We, uh, in the structures that we build, we use both clear and uh, knotty cedar. And uh, mostly we use the clear in the visual places at the door and the sidewall studs and the rafters. But the sills and the plates that aren't really visible, we'll use the select tight knot and save some money there that way.